We're, we're live from International Drive, which is right over inter, by Interstate 80, where the accident happened. Uh, and the mayor was, of Mount Olive Township was kind enough to join us to give us the latest information on what happened this morning. What can you tell us? First, let me say I'm very sorry. About Thank you. This this um, I, I obviously have concern for the family and the children and the whole community in Paramus because this is going to affect them uh, much more than it obviously than it affects us. But at about 9:30 this morning, I received a text message. And I, on I am responding, which is our first responder text message system, that there was an accident on Route 80 at approximately mile marker 25, involving a school bus and a dump truck with entrapment and possible ejections. Um, soon after, I started receiving uh, phone calls from the different media outlets and understood that the severity of the uh, accident was significant. Uh, I contacted the police department. I got a very brief understanding as to what they were dealing with. They told me that the scene was being run by the state police and that they were providing whatever kind of backup role they could in terms of uh, both providing medical treatment and site investigation. I got down here, tried to get down to the site to offer whatever resources the township had and were needed, but uh, state police are keeping everyone away from the scene. And uh, I've basically stayed in the same location that you're at now, which is the overpass overlooking the accident scene. Were they able to give you any indication as to what caused this accident? I haven't been given any information in terms of how the accident occurred, where the kids were going, uh, the nature of injuries, uh, whether there are fatalities, none of that information has been provided to me at this point. Obviously, as I said, it's being run by the state police, so I'm somewhat at a disadvantage uh, in terms of being able to provide information to you and the other media outlets. Yeah, like you were saying, you look at this and you think about the children on that bus, you think of your own family. Oh, telling. always. I, I mean, if it doesn't take long to look at this accident scene to understand how horrific it was and how serious the injuries could be. Basically, the bus was sheared apart from the top part of the bus from the drivetrain of the bus, which remains on Route 80 with the top part of the bus kind of pitched at a 45 degree angle in the median. Uh, I don't know, uh, obviously, what the injuries are, but I can only imagine that there were some very significant injuries. And my heart goes out to the Paramus community. Well, Mayor Greenbaum, I appreciate your time this Thank afternoon, you. uh, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, but that is the latest. Again, we are right over the scene. If my cameraman can peek over here to the side, you can see this is a live look at the bus that was involved in that crash earlier this morning. A full-size school bus carrying middle school children collided with a dump truck here on I-80 in the westbound lanes near exit 25 in Mount Olive Township. Again, there are multiple injuries at this point. We do not know the extent of the injuries, but obviously the impact must have been extremely intense. As you can see, the entire under undercarriage of the bus appears to have been ripped off, totally separated from that overturned bus. Again, that is the latest here live from the scene in Mount Olive Township, New Jersey. I'm Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.